So back to the action we go. And this time, a heavyweight contest that we'll see. Hamdi Abdulhel Wahab take on this man, the Fox, Tyler Lee. Now, Tyler has had a few years out of competition, but very excited to be stepping back in here, representing Team Rampage. He has got a task on his hand, though, right? You have called the fights of Hamdi before, Frank. An absolute beast, an Olympic grey wrestler. But this guy, this is what I like. The, the nickname, the Fox, could fit very well. A very sly jujitsu game. His ground game could be underestimated by Hamdi. And uh, I know you yourself very much enjoy exposing jujitsu on, on people that think that maybe they can't be beaten by it. This is exactly the game plan he'll be coming in with. No, and that's the thing that jujitsu submission abilities always gives you as a fighter. It's like having knockout power. Uh, regardless of how the fight is going, where this, you know, how much time is left, as long as there's time on the clock, there's always the ability to submit and stop your opponent. And, I love that. I love the power and, the, and just the, uh, the, uh, the establishment mindset that that gives someone like a, a Tyler uh, Lee. If he goes out there, if he sees it, if you, you can go out there and dominate someone like Lee for, you know, 14 minutes and 55 seconds, and if you expose your neck for a second, leave out an arm, fight's over with, you're going home. So next up, we welcome this man, the fiend on the hammer, Hamdi Abdul Wahab, 29 years of age, hailing from Cairo, Egypt, and Olympic pedigree, Frank. We talked to him yesterday. Yes. He's represented Egypt uh, in national tournaments at the Olympics in Greco-Roman. He won two golds. He won Greco-Roman and the freestyle wrestling in the African Cup. He is somebody that has grown up with five brothers. He yes. said, we're all exactly the same size. And from as soon as we were able to move, we wrestled. That's his background. That's his pedigree. And that's one hell of a size man to be stepping in the cage tonight. And I love it because he represents, again, I point to people like, Point your children in this direction to train martial arts, to train wrestling. Omni has a, he's walked around all week with a smile on his face. I've called his fights before. He's a complete gentleman, very focused, a great representative, and, and he's just a tough warrior. His kid, his brothers, all five of them grew up battling it out inside the house, moving furniture out of the way. They grew up being warriors, having that mindset pushing, and it's led to a lot of success, not only inside the cage form, but success outside the cage as how he carries himself as a man. So they are both inside the cage. This heavyweight bout is set to get underway. We'll look at the tail of the tape first. Check out the differences. One year older is Tyler Lee. Height and reach on the size. Side of Hamdi El Wahab. And size was probably preferable as well. 20 pounds the heavier. Well, he might be bigger because you see someone coming at 264. That's the upper weight of the weight. So he might have uh, you know, cut a little bit. So we're set, ready. Let's get this underway. Let's hand it to Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the action. It is the inaugural Freedom Fight Night presented to you by HJR Global Services, Real America's Voice, Factum Financial, Let's Go Brandon.com, and streaming on Cloud Hub. This bout, three rounds in the heavyweight division. Our judges at ringside are Vicente Rodriguez, Richard Green Jr. and Lorenzo Toledo. At the sound of the bell, the man in charge of the action referee, Alan Abeles. Presenting first, the fighter standing in the blue corner and representing Team Rampage. He enters wearing red with white and weighing in at an official 246 and one quarter pounds. As a professional, he maintains a record of three victories against two losses. Fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Tyler. The Fox Lee! Across the cage in the red corner, wearing black with white lettering and representing Team Tito, he weighed in at an official 264 and one quarter pounds after an outstanding amateur career, including the 2020 silver medal at the Singapore Junior Olympics and the ultimate honor of representing his homeland of Egypt at the 2016 Rio Games. Now, he enters the cage an undefeated pro with two victories, fighting out of New York, New York, Hamdi the Hammer Abdel Set and ready for this heavyweight contest. 
Hamdi the Hammer Abdel Wahab in the red corner. Black Shorts taking on Tyler the Fox Lee. He is in the blue corner. With the red shorts off we go. And Frank, we've been looking forward to this one. Hamdi says he feels like his opponent's going to look to take him down. He says, if he does, I will punish him from that position. That's the first move we've seen there. Well, and it's almost a little bit one up in a catch-22. Of course, uh, Lee wants to get the takedown. But by Abdul Wahab stopping the takedown and then getting on top, he's still closing the distance. Oh, oh that heavy oh, shot. That's over. it. That is it. Oh, look at the smile on the face of the hammer. He unleashed the hands. And that was it. Tyler Lee went down. Boom, five points apiece for Ortiz, for Rafael Jackson, at the courtesy of the hands of the hammer, Frank. Impressed, he went out there, stopped for a shot, ended up on top for a second, but again, I think he had the mindset of that word. That's Fox wanted to be. So if he used, um, he used his Thank wrestling you. to end up on top, he just put Fox in a position where he'll be comfortable doing jujitsu. So he stood back up, backed out, came in with a vicious shot, just completely turned the lights out on Fox. Oh, wow. And Hamdi, we talk about his credentials and his grappling. And look how humble he is, man. The guy's a complete gentleman. Oh. We talked to him yesterday and it was infectious, his energy. Yes. But his style is brutal and we, we know he's got that pedigree in wrestling, that Olympic grade wrestling. But his hands, the fights I watched with him on the, the, the you called, all of them, it's, yeah. it's so impressive don't how blink. calm that, don't blink. Oh, one touch, hey, one hey, shot, hey. and it is done. Oh, Talk us through this quickly. Gary. That was after he stopped hey, the shot, came forward. Vicious left hook, overhand right, and then a two-piece combo. They're almost body shots. It looked like that right hand was going to go to the solar plex of Fox, but instead, as Fox is changing levels, it ended up landing right on the chin as he basically fell into it. Vicious strikes. You see the power that Hamdi has. And raising that Egyptian flag high. He's made the United States his home, though. Traveled here seven years ago. He said he's extremely proud to be here on this event. America has given him such a, a wide scope, a, a real amazing factor to his life, to his family's life. And this sort of stage is something that he is proud to be standing in and on and putting performances like that for the crowd. Still smiling, you can see there. There is his coach from Killer Bee Combat Sports Academy, Brian Wright. And both are now set and ready. Let's make the announcement official. Let's hand it to Lupe, Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to conclude with an official time. 24 seconds of the opening round, your winner, by way of KO, representing Team Tito, still undefeated, the Hammer, Hamdi Abdelwahab. It's a Hamdi Abdelwahab. Well, now speak to Frank Mia. Uh, you went out there right off the bat. Stop the shot. Instead of using your wrestling end up on top where Fox would probably be comfortable as a jiu-jitsu player, you decided to go and stand it back up and obviously showcase phenomenal power. Uh, was that the game plan coming in? Yeah, that was the game plan. I just, um, I want to give him a little bit of hard time. I want to like give him a taste of the hammer. So I did it. I did everything I blamed for. Now, when you were in the locker room, did it take any kind of uh, mindset where you saw, wow, our team had that wrapped up, we just lost five points go the other way? Did it get any extra inspiration for you to come out here and make sure that if it wasn't a wrestling decision, you came out here to get a finish? Yeah, I came here, I took the decision, I came here to finish, I came here to show my skills. I'm not just a wrestler, I'm a fighter, fighter including everything, including boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, everything. And I want to take the chance to thank everyone, thank all my sponsors, thank all my coaches, my manager, everyone supporting me. And I want to call someone. Can I do it? Please. I want to call Dan White for the UFC. I want to tell him, like, you're looking in the direct, like, wrong direction. You should look right here. You have a real heavyweight problem with me. So. <laughs> Your winner, congratulations. Hamdi Abdul Wahab. Phenomenal, man. Real quick, talk to Tito. Obviously, uh, the story of the night, right? Come out, first fight, you liked, you guys, you had that wrapped up. Went the other direction, and not just slightly, big time. How much did you guys need this win going the way it did? 
this uh, this win depended on everything. The first fight, it was just uh, one of those things that kind of, he had the choke, and then the guy showed what type of heart he really had. Um, with him, I knew he had knockout power. I've been watching a lot of his fights, and I said that left hook right hand, and the coach has been doing an amazing job training him, and he showed it, got that quick knockout. But night's not over. We still got a lot of work to do. Tied up. All right, guys, see the rest of the night. So there we have a very happy Tito Ortiz leaving there. Let's look at the action. We should have a 30 second clip for a fight that lasted 26 seconds. And that is why, look at the power in those hands. Bang, boom. And a little shrug of the shoulders there. Phenomenal stuff from Abdi Hamdi Abdel Wahab.